Welcome back to the Uncaged Baby Animal episode. We're off to the Arctic Circle to check in on some baby reindeer. Reindeer are also known as caribou. In Europe, they are called reindeer all the time. In America, we call them caribou in the wild, and when domesticated, we call them reindeer. Reindeer live in the northern part of North America, including Canada and Alaska, also in Europe, Russia, and Greenland. Let's not forget with Santa at the North Pole. Reindeer better watch out for these guys, polar bears. Since we're up here at the Arctic Circle Station, let's see what the baby polar bears are up to. Like all babies, polar bears love to romp and play, always under the watchful eyes of their parents. Polar bear habitats are changing rapidly, making this harsh environment even more challenging. They sure do look like they're making the best of it. Polar bears, or Ursus maritimus, spend most of their time at sea. They have an excellent sense of smell with the ability to detect seals nearly a mile away. It can hit nearly 25 miles an hour on land and swim at a quick 6 miles per hour. Polar bears keep warm thanks to nearly 4 inches of blubber under the fur and skin. Scientists estimated there are around 20,000 polar bears left. It's obvious how important it is we stop the ice melt when you see these adorable polar bear cubs. Whoa, almost took a plunge. Polar bears are the largest carnivore or meat eater that lives on land. They look cute and cuddly, but a full grown polar bear is a match for about anything on earth. See you later guys. Well, keep your coat and gloves handy. We're pulling out and heading south, way south, to South Georgia Island. South Georgia Island is a British overseas territory in the Southern Atlantic Ocean. It is part of a remote and inhospitable collection of islands, South Georgia being by far the largest. We'll get this leg of the journey going with some baby seabirds. South Georgia holds one of the world's most abundant and diverse seabird communities, whose total breeding population probably exceeds 30 million pairs. Well, hello there. Time for some baby penguins. Cute, funny, yet such noble little creatures. These little animals have a special place in our hearts and run the roost on South Georgia Island. South Georgia penguin species include the king penguin, the gen two, the chin strap, and the macaroni. And who could forget the adorable elephant seal? Certainly one of the most playful and fun to watch of all marine creatures. Elephant seals are able to hold their breath underwater for over two hours, which is the longest of any water-based mammal. The elephant seals dive to depths of around 500 meters to hunt for food, but some elephant seals have been observed diving to more than 1,500 meters underwater. Hey, you're crushing me! <laughs> Boy, that's some cute stuff. Let's head further down the beach and have a look at some baby fur seals. For sure, the South Georgia Islands pranksters. Here they are. Although they breathe air, Seals are most at home in the water and may stay at sea for weeks at a time eating fish, squid, birds, and tiny shrimp like krill. 
fur seals may swim by themselves or gather in small groups, called colonies. This scruffy little guy must have been at sea too long. Comb your hair! Mother seals and pups find each other using a familiar call. A study in Alaska found that mothers and offspring were still able to recognize each other's calls even after separation of four years. Boy, they are cute. Watch them go. South Georgia Island sure is an interesting place and what a special stop to check out some super cute baby animals. Okay, up north again to the beautiful state of Alaska where we'll get a special look at some sure-footed, sure-to-make-you-smile mountain goats. actually a member of the antelope family. Both males and females have beards on their chin. The mountain goat has a coat of woolly white fur that keeps it warm at high elevations. This coat has a double layer for added warmth during winter. The overcoat molts or falls off during summertime. Those baby goats can get to be really good climbers on those steep cliffs. Let's stay in Alaska and wrap this part of the show up with some furball baby bears. They look cute, but I wouldn't want to try to out-wrestle them. Bear cubs are really playful. Play fighting is very important for young bears because it teaches them to protect themselves and helps them get stronger. But if it gets too rough, mama will step in and swat him with a paw. Ouch! Our journey continues to find more babies when we come back. Coming up, you won't want to miss the most amazing babies of the jungle. 